Pick your rail cars from drab. Too fab. All right, so step one is adding your pencil outline. As you can see, I've used the photo that's inset in the upper right corner as a guide for this project. Right now, I am just trying to get the ink to flow in the ink pen. Picked up these pens on Amazon for really cheap, 12 in a set. So the first thing we're gonna do is, after doing our outline, is add the lightest color that you have. So ideally, before you do your blacks, and your dark blues and things like that, you wanna do your lighter colors. Now these taggers have left the uh, reporting marks and a little bit of the weight detail um, uncovered. So we're gonna basically copy that here. Now, one of the things uh, these pens are really good for is getting around detail. So these are extra fine tip pens, and you can see that little rib there. I have to paint the front surface of it, the top surface of it, and the under surface of it, just to get the paint to wrap around all the details. And the extra fine tips are great for this. So I'll speed up some of this footage for you here. Just um, filling in all the letters. Gonna go through the whole logo and just add all of this uh, bright orange color. Once I get to the weathering stage, I will fade this so that it's not so bright. But the paint goes on really well. It flows really nicely. And this is what you get. A nice flat, even colored orange. So now the next step, is to outline with your darkest color. So I'm using a black uh, color here. And I'm just going through the outlines and having a look at my reference photo every now and then, just to make sure that I'm kind of doing it the way they did it. Ultimately, I did make a few changes. This isn't an exact replica. The car that I'm using is a slightly different body style and type than the car in the photo. Now it's going to add the taggers initials there. Just made those up. And these pens are really good at just doing really fine lines if you want. So just looking at that reference photo again, I'm adding the little uh, lines that they put within the orange color. Uh, off camera, I did add those uh, black details above the letters. I, I needed to use my phone, which I'm filming with, to look at my reference photo to figure out how to do those. So I did not film that part. So now I'm just going back, just decided to add a little bit more black. Uh, just gonna fill in under the M. I'll fill in under the, the D and the E there a little bit. Just thought it looked a little bit better. I'm gonna thicken up some of the details as well. So this is really easy and really simple. These uh, paints dry pretty quick. So it took about an hour for the orange to dry and you want to let it dry completely. These are water-based uh, colors as well, so you want them to dry completely so you're not smudging them with your hand as you're you know, leaning on it to do the second color. And it looks really good so far, starting to pop. I covered over most of the reporting details on the sides, left a, uh, a few of the panels in place, as you can see. And the last step here is to cover it. So we're gonna spray it with some dull coat. Now this will seal it in so that your, any weathering that you do won't cause it to bleed or run because it is water-based. So exposing it to moisture for any period of time could cause it to run again. And uh, by spraying the dull coat, it also preps the surface for accepting powders and my weathering uh, technique.